Rive is a Max for Live MIDI device which features one monophonic sequencer and four independent playheads, each producing a voice based on the same notes, effectively turning a monophonic pattern into a polyphonic one. Rive's core idea takes inspiration from a compositional technique called Fugue, which is about using the same theme for building up entire pieces. However, Drive is more focused on twists that are closer to modern experimental electronic music. In fact, its main strength doesn't necessarily reside into its multiple playheads, rather into each playhead's time-twisting capabilities and the overall consistency that can be created between them. Each playhead has its own distinct different sections. A play section, a midi mixer, and a phase distortion section. In the play section, it is possible to define each playhead's range and starting point by using the offset and range dials. Each playhead's playback area is represented beneath the sequencer by color-coded lines. The rate parameter allows the user to scale the playhead speed in relation to live's current tempo and Reeve's overall time resolution. A rate value of 2.0 means that the playhead is going to take twice the time to complete a full cycle, while a value of 0.5 means that it's going to take half the time. We can already see how setting up more unconventional values gives immediate access to weird time resolutions. Notice how changing rate and range is the only way to affect the actual duration of a single playhead's complete cycle. You can keep track of that information by looking at the text right above the phase scope. Finally, the mode parameter defines if the playhead is going to move forward, backward or following a palindrome motion. The MIDI mixer is mostly built around the scaling values for parameters that are globally defined on the main sequence. It is possible to transpose the pitch, tame or amplify the velocity and act on the chance value on a single playhead basis. A couple of extra functions are also included. With the button on the right side of the pitch, it is possible to define a randomic behavior. When activated, it will cause the playhead to randomly pick a step across its range, while keeping all of its other settings consistent. The button on the right side of the chance is called gate mode, and it's used to define the gate behavior of the playhead when a note on is skipped due to the chance settings. Setting this up on the whole line symbol is going to cause the note to sustain up until a new note is detected, while the line with the X symbol means that the note is going to stop, effectively causing the playhead to be silent. The phase distortion section is where the real magic happens. At K Devices, we love to inject audio concepts into the MIDI realm, and this is probably why this section might be the most unusual one of the entire device. So let's talk about how the idea of phase works in Drive. Phase represents a function which shows how much of our playhead has progressed farther into the sequence within a single cycle. The default shape shows that the playhead is going to progress throughout the entire sequence once per cycle and is going to restart from the beginning as soon as the cycle ends. 
Also, keep in mind that by switching mode, we are essentially changing how the playhead is going to run across the face waveform, meaning that while forward is going to play one cycle from left to right, backward is going to cause the face to be read from right to left, and palindrome is going to make the sequence to go through the phase first forward and then backward across a total duration of two cycles. Now think about applying distortion to the face, mutating its shape in all kinds of different ways. This is going to affect how the playhead is moving, causing unforeseen and unpredictable progressions. Using the parameters on the left, we can sculpt the face beyond our imagination and use it as a creative writing tool, combining multiple voices for different results. <laughs> 